Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle, I am the creator behind Birkin Co. I love everything to do with lifestyle, motherhood, and home decor. To excuse me because I have a little bit of a cold so I sound a little bit off, but today we are going to do an airy swimsuit haul. I'm so excited for this. I've been a huge lover of American Eagle. So when they came out with Aerie, I loved everything that they were about. And recently in the last few years, the switches that they've made to body positivity and the differences between women have been so empowering and I love everything that they are doing right now. Their bathing suits can run a little bit more expensive in comparison to some of the cheaper brands that you see out there online. But to me, I would much rather support a company that is empowering women and giving them products that every body can wear. And so if it means spending a little bit more, take my money, just take it all. Because I, like, I just love everything that they're about. Also, I have to apologize if this video is a little bit shaky. I have lost the attachment to my tripod, so I am holding it up with my arm, which I did a huge workout on this morning, so I am a little bit like jello today. For reference, with trying these bathing suits on, I am about 214 pounds. I am roughly about 5'8". I have quite a long torso, and I am about a year and a half postpartum. Most of the sizes that you'll see me try on are either large or extra large. The one pieces that I got are tall for the torso because I knew right away that I would not fit a regular one piece. I will have a link below um, taking you to my website and it will have all the links of each of the suits that I've tried on, which will make for easy shopping for you. Here is the triangle top. I got this one in an extra large, and I actually bought two by accident, but um, I think I will downsize to a large. I got a different color in the large, and it just fits a lot better. <clears throat> um, it has the adjustable sleeves as well, and these are the high cut bottoms. Um, I got these in an extra large, but I think I will be swapping them out for a large because they are quite um, loose and I do like my bathing suits just a little bit tighter because once they get wet, they do start to stretch out. And I really don't mind the high cut. They're not, like they're cheeky, but they're not that bad. I also like how this has um, a little bander on the bottom. I have a really long torso, so I feel like it just helps to shorten it up the space between the top of the <clears throat> high rise bottoms to the bottom of the top. Makes it look really flattering. Here is the scoop neck top. It has the adjustable um, straps as well as the adjustable back. I have it on um, the tightest clasp. And this is an extra large, which I like the fit of it. Uh, I am still breastfeeding, so um, I feel like I, my chest is still a little bit too big for this. But and again, still with that high high waist bottom, and, which I really, really like. But like I said, definitely need a large. All right, so this is another triangle top. This is in the large, and it definitely fits a lot better. Um, I am finding that there is a little bit of tightness in my ribs, um, causing myself to kind of just ooze over on the sides, but I am currently, like I said before, nursing. I really like how I feel in it. I like how it fits. So I will definitely be getting large, and I just, there's something about a black bathing suit that I absolutely love. I think it looks fantastic when you get a little bit of a tan from your trip or for this, from the summer. So I'm definitely a sucker for the black. So you can't have a little bit of a leopard print without a little bit of moss green. I mean, it looks like you're on a safari, but I love moss green. Again, I love the way it looks um, during the summer with a little bit of a tan or on your vacation. 
I love this scoop neck. I like how much coverage there is. Straps aren't adjustable, the back isn't adjustable. I have it in an extra large. I think the fit is great. Okay, so this is the high-waisted bottoms. They aren't cheeky. These ones are ribbed as well with a little bit of ruching on the sides here, which is super flattering. <clears throat> I do like how high they come up in comparison to um, the cheeky bottoms. Um, this top here is also ribbed. I love the color, but I am not liking this top. Um, and it has a lot of fabric in the front of it <clears throat> and not a lot in the back. There's not really a lot of support. Um, so for myself, I really don't like this, but I do really love the color. I absolutely love stripes. So a striped bikini is a must for me. This is a variation of the scoop neck that I tried on with the moss green. It just has a longer top, which I also like because again, it shortens that area that is actually exposed but accentuates the center. This top doesn't have adjustable straps, uh, nor does it have an adjustable back. This is an extra large, and I feel like the fit is really good. It might become a little bit loose once this is wet, so if you do spend a lot of time in the water, maybe it would be a good idea to size down a little bit, but I do feel like it looks super cute from the back. This is a one piece. It is a large and it is a tall. Um, <clears throat> I never really get to wear one pieces because my torso is too long <laughs> and they always feel like they don't come up high enough or something like that. And I love being able to have uh, a swimsuit option that can help to fade away any of the tan lines because I, <laughs> I'm not a fan of I love this actually. I tried it on <clears throat> when I first got it and I didn't like it. And now that I'm wearing it again, I actually really, really like it. Um, it is a tad small for me right now. <clears throat> it was a little bit of my postpartum weight. Um, I have a one and a half year old, like I've said, but I love it. It does come with straps. To make a halter. This one is ribbed. The black is super flattering. It is high cut, but you know what? I love it. I did it right the second, I would definitely need to get an extra large. But also, this hat is fantastic. I got it at Winners or Marshalls, and it rolls up really nice, super big, and it accommodates the top bun and it has an airy scrunchie in it. This one is awesome because it's actually made out of swimsuit material. So if you go into the pool, the beach with your kids, or just because, you don't have to worry about needing to dry it out or if it's silk or something like that, that it's going to get wrecked because it's made out of swimsuit material. How cool is that? Okay, <clears throat> so probably about two years ago, I was in an airy store in Edmonton and they happened to have a red one-piece bathing suit in my size and regret regretfully I didn't buy it um, and of course I took pictures of it because I did think I looked cute and ever since then I have wanted a red one-piece bathing suit I don't know if it's because growing up watching Baywatch um, it was just something I've always wanted. So it is really nice and tight in the midsection. It does feel super supportive. The only problem is, and probably the reason why I won't keep this, is there is no support in the chest area. So if you are a mama, you probably just won't feel like things are where they need to be or will stay securely where you need them to be. This is adorable though. The back is so cute. I like that it's not a bunch of fabric on the chest and this hat is really adorable. 
I got from Amazon. And another scrunchie from Airy. Love their scrunchies. But yes, this bathing suit is super cute. It's not super cheeky. Um, the front has lots of nice coverage. The back gives you just a little bit, but not too much. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful, inspiring. So make sure that you go and buy that bathing suit that's going to give you the confidence to enjoy your summer or your upcoming vacation. Bye.